This week, we are looking at the names of God, and we've looked at the name of God from Genesis chapter 1 as the creator God, Elohim. And we've looked at another revelation of God as the Most High God, El Elyon. And today, we look at another name of God that describes an aspect of him, El Shaddai. And that is in Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. When Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said to him, I am almighty God. Walk before me and be blameless. As we've said, the Bible, the Old Testament, was written primarily in Hebrew, and so the names of God we are talking about are the names of God as they appear in the Bible in the Hebrew language. And this one we read in the English, I am almighty God. But in the Hebrew, it is El Shaddai. God revealed himself to Abraham as El Shaddai, the all-powerful one. In English, sometimes we say the almighty one. He's all-sufficient, he's the absolute ruler, and he can do all things. When Melchizedek met Abraham, he revealed God to Abraham as the most high God. But now God himself is revealing himself to Abraham. So this is not Abraham making a guesswork as to who God is, but God says, this is who I am. I am El Shaddai. I am the Almighty God. It's a very interesting uh, revelation of God because he comes to Abraham at a time when Abraham is 99 years old. And if you know the story of Abraham, he's been waiting for a child with his wife, Sarah, for many years. And the years have come and the years have gone. He has given up having a child with Sarah and then at 99 years of age, at the most hopeless stage of his life, God says, listen, Abraham, I am El Shaddai, so don't count me out. I'm not finished with you yet. I believe God is saying the same to somebody. I am El Shaddai. I'm not through with you yet. And El Shaddai has two main meanings. First, it means he's all sufficient. He satisfies all our longings. In him dwells all the fullness, and out of his fullness we receive. So it gives the idea of somebody who has so much and, and has more to give and never runs out. He's the God who never faces shortages. El Shaddai, he satisfies the hungry soul, he nourishes the weary. And so when you are hungry and you are weary, he has so much to supply you because he never runs out of fullness. The second meaning of El Shaddai is the Almighty One. In the Bible, the term Almighty is applied only to God, only to God. He has all the power to do all he wants to do. And so he's telling Abraham, don't allow age and time to stop me because I have all the power to do all the things I want to do. What does that mean? It means there is nothing that God wants to do that he cannot do. I know all of us have things we want to do that we can't do. You, know, you, you wish you had a billion dollars, but you don't have it. You wish uh, you could uh, go and live on Mars, but you can't live on Mars. You wish, I mean, there's so many things we wish we could do. I wish I could travel uh, to the sun and back and see how hot the sun is and survive it, but that's not possible. But El Shaddai, Whatever he imagines to do, he has the power to do it. He can do whatever he says he wants to do. I am El Shaddai. And it is as El Shaddai that he speaks to Abraham, 99 years old, renews the strength of Abraham, renews the womb of Sarah. And out of two impossible conditions, El Shaddai provides them with a son. And this same God has not stopped to be El Shaddai. He's still El Shaddai. He's the almighty God, the one who has all the nourishment we need. When we have him, there is nothing else we need. He's all our satisfaction. And the one who has the power to do all that he wants to do, 
There is nothing he wants to do that he cannot do. He's an all-powerful one, and he's still our God, and he's the same one we worship him. And may he show himself to you this morning and this day as El Shaddai. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are the all-sufficient one. In you, all my needs are met. I trust you to fulfill your word to me. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.